In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate and interpret a chi-square statistic. So to calculate and interpret a chi-square statistic, the first thing that you need is a crosstab, which is a table that organizes the frequency of two variables against each other. So here we have water and soda, so that's preference for water and soda, and whether or not the person goes to the gym or not. Okay, so here we see that 60 people prefer water who go to the gym, and 40 people who go to the gym prefer soda. And down here we have 20 people who don't go to the gym prefer water, and 80 people who don't go to the gym prefer soda. We have our totals for each column here on the bottom, the column marginals, and we have our row marginals here, the totals for the people who go to the gym and the people who don't go to the gym. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a table. And our table is going to help us find the chi-square. The first column of our table is going to be called F sub O. And as you can see up here, that stands for observed frequencies. So all we're going to put here under F O are the actual frequencies that we observed in our data. So here we're going to do, for the people who like water and go to the gym, that's 60. For the people who like water and don't go to the gym, that's 20. For the people who like soda and go to the gym, that's 40. And for the people who like soda who don't go to the gym, that's 80. So those are our observed frequencies. All you're doing is putting the data that's actually observed in our table in the first column. Our next column is going to be called FE. And as you can see up here, that stands for expected frequency. To find expected frequency, we're going to use a we're going to use a formula. And the formula is row marginal times column marginal. divided by the total. Okay, so that's row marginal times column marginal divided by the total. So for gym and water, the row marginal is 100 and the column marginal is 80, right? Because this cell, if you go all the way across, it's 100 and if you go all the way down, it's 80. So we're going to do 100 times 80 which is 8,000 divided by 200, which is 40. So we're going to put 40 here. Okay. Then we're going to do the same for this 20, which, which uh, is for water and no gym. So for water and no gym, we're going to go all the way across, and that's 100, multiplied by, go all the way down, that's 80. So that's 8,000 again, divided by 200 is 40 again. Okay. Now let's do that for the other two. That's going to be 100 times 120, 12,000, divided by 200, and that's 60. The same for soda and no gym, 100 times 120, 12,000, divided by 200, which is 60. So those are our first two columns. And that's basically all you need to find a chi-square. Now we're just going to do a couple of things to those two numbers. The first is we're going to do the observed frequency minus the expected frequency. So that's 60 minus 40, 20. 20 minus 40, negative 20. 40 minus 60, negative 20. And 80 minus 60, 20. When you do a chi-square statistic and you're making this table, this column, the F the frequency observed minus the frequency expected, if you add them all up, should always equal zero. Right? Because 20 minus 20 is zero, and then negative 20 plus 20 is also zero. So this is all going to be zero. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to square that last column. So we're going to take the frequency observed minus the frequency expected and square it. So 20 squared is 400. Negative 20 squared is 400. Negative 20 squared is 400. And 20 squared is 400. All right. 
Okay, so in our final column, we're gonna do that last column, which was frequency observed minus frequency expected squared, and we're gonna divide it by the expected frequency. So now we're gonna do 400 divided by 40, and that is 10, right? Then we're gonna do 400 divided by 40, which is 10. 400 divided by 60, which is, hold, hold on. 6.67. And 400 divided by 60, which is 6.67. The last thing you have to do to calculate the chi-square is add up this final row. So that's gonna be 20 plus 13.34. Oh, 20 plus 13.34. So that's 33.34. That is our chi-square statistic. So just add up this row, and that is your chi-square, which is represented by this capital chi, Greek letter chi, square. All right, so now that we have our chi-square, we need to interpret it. So we have a chi-square of 33.34. We need to look at our distribution of the chi-square chart, which is here. You can't read them, but each of these, this table is organized into rows and columns. In the rows, we have degrees of freedom, and in the column, we have alpha. So first thing we need to do is find the degrees of freedom for our chi-square. The way we do that, so to find the degrees of freedom for a chi-square, we need to do the row minus one times the column minus one, All right? So that's gonna be, here we have two rows, so two minus one, times, and we have two columns, so two minus one. That equals one times one, which is one. So our degrees of freedom is one. Now we're gonna look at our chart. We're gonna look at the first row, which has a degrees of freedom of one, and we're gonna compare our obtained chi-square of 33.34 to these values. Now, if your obtained chi-square, which again was 33.34, if your obtained chi-square is higher than the values in the table, then your chi-square is significant. Your chi-square is significant. So here we have 0 0.03157, which 33.34 is much higher than. So let's go all the way to the end here, which is the lowest alpha, 0 0.001 alpha. That has a critical chi-square value of 10.827. Now, is our score of 33.34 higher than 10.827? Yes, it is. So since our obtained chi-square chi -square is higher, we can reject the null hypothesis and we can say that our chi-square is significant at the 0 0.001 level. So we are 99.9% .9 confident we are 99.9% .9 confident that there is a significant relationship between water preference and gym attendance. Because remember, all we're doing with a chi-square is we're trying to determine if there's a statistically significant relationship between this variable and this variable. So we have water preference and gym attendance, and we're trying to understand, using this chi-square statistic, if there is a significant relationship between those variables. And our calculated chi-square of 33.34 says that there is at the 99.9% .9 confidence level. 
So that's chi-square. I hope this helps.